SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network, and welcome to episode 48. The boss says for my New Year's resolution, I can stop numbering. It isn't a show about counting, it's a show about what counts, helping you find your next steps when it comes to launching your next big idea. I'm your host, Brian DeNovellis, and today's edition is about changing the world and the world of changing. Not through conflict, rather through witnessing the launch of new products and concepts, through building America and restoring the backbone of the economy, through small business startups. You're likely to see a selection of projects and products that are well worth your investment consideration, plus a range of ideas from how did they think of that to wish I'd thought of that. It's all about crowdfunding and franchising here on SBN, the Small Business Network, and we'll get underway right after this word from the corner office. Thanks for tuning in to TV News for Today's Entrepreneurs. We'll be right back. You're watching SBN. Yo, who's Scott? Hey. I'm heading out, man. You want to ride? No, I got my car, but I actually really need to go to the bathroom. Oh, you know what? I was just in there. The line is like 10 people long. You know, I think I'll just... Dude, are you okay? You wouldn't believe what I was just thinking. I, I am definitely buzzed. Yeah. I think I will take this and I will take that ride home. Smart man. Did you see how that dog was looking at me? A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your tour director, Brian DeNovellis. Hey, back at the top of this edition, we mentioned our theme today is change. Not spare change, not loose change, and not that overflowing jar of change you never quite get around to cashing in for a bigger bunch of bucks than you bargained for. Actually, once I cashed in 15,000 pennies, 150 bucks. But it's not that type of change, nope. This first presentation is about changing the solid waste, choking out our limited landfills and converting it into value streams, effectively reducing waste and bettering the planet. So you think you've heard it all before. Wait just a minute then to be amazed when you learn more about MycoCycle, a patent pending process to help reclaim value from what others toss in the trash. Have a look at excerpts from the presentation materials supplied by the team at MycoCycle. All of our asphalt waste goes to the dump. It takes time and money to haul it there, and it isn't sustainable. We want to reduce our footprint and develop an opportunity to do something different with our waste. MycoCycle exists to transform trash to treasure. We're using the power of mushrooms to clean up the messes that we've made. There are so many materials that we can address through microremediation that are hitting landfill currently. We see the opportunity to create a value stream and then re-enter it into manufacturing to make a usable byproduct. One of the most important roles that fungi fulfill in the environment is as a decomposers. They're really nature's greatest chemists on so many fronts, and especially in the way that they're able to uniquely break down some of the most complex chemicals of the natural world, as well as some of the most complex toxins that humans have invented. Not everybody can have an effect on all parts of their own supply chain, so it's really important to have businesses like MycoCycle that are taking a look at these problems that, that in, in a way are, are you know, being created by these other industries and, and finding ways to help those industries out. If MycoCycle is successful, we probably shouldn't see a single second of it. Like the idea that mycelium recycles materials for us should just happen in the background while we go along our daily lives. And that's kind of the key to sustainable efforts and solving a, a global warming crisis is making it easy for people to understand how to contribute.
Minimum investment in MICO cycle is 26250. If we say what you see is what you get, well, it's never as simple as that. You're investing in an equity Reg CF offering that is bound to have an impact on the solid waste management market valued at $1 trillion in 2019. You want more information about MicroCycle before you invest? Of course you do. And that's where the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including SBN's crowdfunding legal guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding attorney. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including equity crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. We're back with more after this short break. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. It takes all of us to slow the spread of the coronavirus. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and stay home unless absolutely necessary. Use a delivery service for essential items like food and medicine. If you must make essential trips, stay six feet apart from other people. Wear a cloth face covering and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds as often as possible. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. Hello, you're back with us on The Right Channel, SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis, your host for this edition. Really, for every edition, glad to have you along. You know our theme for this edition is change. Here's a story about an investment opportunity we've highlighted before, about a founder with a unique offer for crowdfunding or franchising, and it all began when he made a significant change in his nutritional viewpoint. He remade his life over 20 years ago when he became a vegan. Through necessity, he found himself a bit challenged because there wasn't one central shopping location for the discerning vegan or vegetarian. That is why he founded Vegan Fine Brands, a business that's like three stores under one roof. It's a cafe, it's a healthy market, it's a cruelty-free beauty supply store and a community gathering place. Let's take a closer look at the video presentation for Vegan Fine Brands to see if it works as a crowdfund or a franchise for your investment consideration. Welcome to Vegan Fine Brands Incorporated. I'm Stephen Smith, founder and CEO. Vegan Fine Brands is an all vegan consumer products company. Our portfolio of brands and businesses compete in the retail food industry, in the health and beauty care industry, and in the e-commerce space. We are the parent company of retailers Vegan Fine Foods, Vegan Fine Cafe, and Vegan Fine Body. I'd like to introduce you to our company and share an exciting investment opportunity with you. We launched our first subsidiary, Vegan Fine Foods, in March 2018 as one of the first all-vegan markets in the United States. In September 2018, Vegan Fine Cafe was successfully launched as a quick service restaurant inside Vegan Fine Foods. And then we launched Vegan Fine Body as a specialty boutique for vegan health and beauty care products. In October 2019, Vegan Fine Franchising became an approved franchisor for Vegan Fine Foods, Vegan Fine Cafe, and Vegan Fine Body retail stores. We began to launch our own brands in 2019. Vegan Fine Wines was introduced as the first private label brand and product line. In 2020, we launched Vitamins for Vegans as a new line of high quality vitamins and supplements. So the plant-based market is presenting some great opportunities. We're seeing growth in all segments and categories. Market penetration for plant-based foods is booming. Our growth strategy is as follows. Build more profitable customer relationships. Develop innovative and synergistic products and brands. Drive synergies and efficiencies across the businesses. Develop valuable strategic alliances and collaborations. And advance towards connected, multi-channel retail. We've built a solid foundation for growth. We've served over 100,000 customers since launching Vegan Fine Foods. We have strong in-store sales of our branded products. For franchise sales, we have multiple locations set to open in the United States and over 300 inquiries from prospective franchisees. Vegan Fine Foods has an international following. 
Vegan Fine Cafe and Vegan Fine Body have increased visibility as standalone businesses and as integral parts of the Vegan Fine brand's portfolio. Our mission is to create, nurture, and grow innovative ideas into healthy, sustainable brands that enhance people, planet, and profit. Our vision is to be the world's most admired and successful plant-based consumer products company. To achieve our vision, we are raising capital to hire top talent to support our expansion and growth strategies, launch a national marketing program to support franchise sales, increase marketing to support our brick and mortar and online stores, launch new innovative private label brands and products, implement our e-commerce strategy, upgrade our customer relationship management, inventory management, and internal control systems, and implement new post-COVID-19 ordering, pickup, and delivery services. Be a part of our vegan fine future. Consider investing in vegan fine brands and our campaign on startengine.com. It's a fascinating story that describes one man's entrepreneur's journey and the ways he's nurtured his vision. If you want to invest in vegan fine brands as part of its crowdfunding group, the minimum investment is $100. As for the cost of starting your own franchise, a general thumbnail on your expenses to own a Vegan Fine Brands franchise is between $245,500 and $458,500. As a reminder, the full presentation videos are cataloged at connectsbn.com. Just navigate to episode 48 and follow the links to Vegan Fine Brands. There's a lot to consider before you make an investment in Vegan Fine Brands and the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here, info at sbnfranchise.com. We can introduce you to business advisors and legal representatives. And remember, financing is available for most small business startup opportunities, certainly for crowdfunding and franchising. Let us show you how. When we come back, more about the ways we change to stay on the right track to earnings, to success, and to better oneself. You'll see what we mean. Keep watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. Welcome back to 2021, to the new year, to shutting down this pandemic, and to rising up to the new ways to explore change. I'm Brian DiNovellis, your host for SBN, the Small Business Network, and you'll thank me later. All right, maybe not thank me, but you might notice a positive change anyway. First, some facts. The next innovation we present could make you change your mind about farming. And you may ask yourself, why change my mind? Farmer plants a seed, things grow, and we sell whatever we can't eat, right? You left out the part about kicking the tires, grinding the gears, stuck pump irrigation, and harvesting wind when the crops don't grow. Up until now, Farmers have relied on the family farming tradition to shore up the wish for productive seasons. They might have made time for the county agent's presentations on robust seed and renewable fertilizers, or likewise, read up on the latest edition of the Farmer's Almanac. What's a farmer to do? Change, of course. That's where the ag wiki comes into the picture. Now, quicker than you can say, finally, a social network that can help out around today's farms. AgWiki can add value to your farming experience and the experience of farmers all over the globe. Has AgWiki found a place in your portfolio yet? Let me put another morsel of wisdom on your plate before we see it in action. 
There are nearly 570 million farms on the planet. Nearly 28% of the planet's workforce is employed in the agriculture industry. Information garnered through the use of the AgWiki could have a huge impact on food production everywhere. I can't imagine being a farmer without having AgWiki to back me up. Let's see if there's anything else I missed. Hmm. Oh, having a look at the video presentation for AgWiki. Approximately 28% of people employed across the globe work in agriculture. So why is it that with a workforce that big and countless resources, that more than 815 million people are malnourished throughout the world? Why is it that hunger is the leading cause of death globally? We believe the answer is simple. When farmers and ranchers and backyard gardeners need answers to help them grow sustainable, abundant and nutritious food, there isn't a preferred place to turn where they can engage each other and experts in the field. What American farmers know about how to raise wheat more efficiently could help an African farmer turn the five bushel crop that he uses to feed his family into a larger harvest that he can use to turn a profit and put back into his local economy. What farmers in India know about raising corn in drought conditions could help American farmers conserve water without compromising their efficiency. So with an increase in climate issues, more disease and heightening awareness of how what we eat affects our health, shouldn't those involved in agriculture have a central place to go when they need answers? What AgWiki is really about is helping farmers find better ways to feed the world. It's for helping subsistence farmers feed three families instead of one. It's about finding a way to make the 700 plus million people who go to bed hungry every night less hungry and more nourished. Around 1 billion people work in agriculture globally every year. Our aim is to connect these people in a movement to build a better community around agriculture. From the family who just planted their first tomato plant, to the five hectare farmer in Pakistan, to the 10,000 acre crop farmer in Brazil or Kansas. Every single one of them has a challenge and AgWiki will bring together the people who have the solutions to those challenges. Feeding the world is a huge undertaking with countless obstacles, but we have the knowledge and the resources and the people to do it. AgWiki will bring all of these people together to help get it done. We're helping every farmer overcome crop disease by connecting them with researchers. We're helping every rancher grow healthier protein by connecting them with nutritionists who have conducted research and have the know-how to help. We're solving world food problems socially. And we're offering you the opportunity to join us in accomplishing all of this. Invest in AgWiki today. Minimum investment in the AgWiki is $200. Safe to say that app looks like a handful even as more farmers adapt to it. There's much more to consider before you invest in the AgWiki and the Small Business Network can help. Just drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. If need be, we'll do everything we can to get you in touch with business experts and legal counsel, including our own crowdfunding guru, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business startup opportunities, especially crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. Back with more just ahead as soon as the dust settles. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. How prepared is your family if disaster shows up at your doorstep? You can't just turn away a natural disaster. That's why it's important to go to ready.gov slash plan before they show up. It has the tools and tips you need to make an emergency plan with your family. So if disaster comes knocking, Let's go. you'll be ready to help keep your family safe. It's just a pizza. Yes! Make a plan today. Small Business Administration, or SBA, is dedicated to helping entrepreneurs and small business owners start, grow, and succeed in their business ventures. In fact, some of the most recognizable brands started small. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. 
Have you changed over to a social credit card yet? Now I do keep an eye out for changes like the next crowdfunding campaign for the Vital Card. It's just taking off and I suspect its most beneficial aspect is it sweeps up percentages of what you spend, what your family and friends spend, and if you're busy mining for fractions, what people you don't even know are spending. And if that weren't enough, over time the percentages you collect go up. Yes, it sounds astonishing, so why not give a listen to the presentation video for the Vital Card and see if it's a natural fit in your investments collection. This is Vital, the world's first social credit card that pays you to share it. Use the card, share it with friends, and get paid forever. These days, you can earn money by sharing your house, driving your car, and now by sharing your credit card. Here's the deal. Vital is all about sharing and earning. Whether you sign up your barber, favorite barista, or even your coworkers, your Vital score grows. And when they sign up their friends, your score keeps growing. How does it work? Meet our guru. Your Vital score determines how much cash you earn every month. When you sign up a friend, you get four points. When they sign up a friend, you get two points. And when they sign up more people, you get a point for each new member. Every time a vital member travels to Mexico, is up to late partying or spending money on questionable sweaters. 1% of the transaction goes into the cash rewards pool. At the end of each month, vital pays out the cash rewards pool based on everyone's vital score. The higher the score, the bigger the check. Ask Tammy. You get a check every month, forever. And you even earn an additional 1% cash back on what you spend. What's the catch? There is no catch. And look at this, a credit card that actually looks good. Vital reallocates profits from these guys to the community. The way we see it, everyone should earn from their credit card. Welcome to Vital. <laughs> Minimum investment in the Vital Card is $499.55. Now, I'm not an advisor, but one of my questions might be, how can you launch a sticky financial idea like this in the midst of a pandemic and a rugged economy? Well, the folks at Vital Card have a couple of reassuring answers if you're considering investment. In 2020, credit card issuing programs generated more than $100 billion in revenue. The card's pre-launch campaign went viral and netted more than 150,000 waitlist members. Vital's partnership with Evolve Bank & Trust has positioned the card in the mainstream consumer credit space, giving it a potential advantage over competitors. So, it appears that's a big change to embrace. And we're sure there's more to learn before investing in the Vital Card. And the Small Business Network can help. Get in touch, drop us an email, it's easy. Info at sbncrowd.com. If you have questions about crowdfunding, we can connect you to legal and business investment advisors. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. More for you to see from the world of small business startups right here on the Small Business Network. There is a road laid out for me. First night here, but Amy seems cool. <laughs> Leading down to the river. <laughs> I am blind, but I need not see. What do you think? I know this road mm. is there for me. If I'm really free, take me down to the river and walk. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. This is SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DiNovellis. It's about time to come clean with you. Or maybe you should come clean with, well, anyone you like. No earth-shattering news here. Just a franchise idea that's been right before our eyes with a kind of unique connection to the concept of change. So, 
Last fall, the boss had an unanticipated challenge, a Saturday night, the house to himself. He was doing the family's laundry, just carrying on, washing, drying, folding, no ironing, no steaming, that is, until the washing machine just flat out quit on him. Whatever he tried, just couldn't get that washing machine to restart, but he had an idea. He would take that load to his local laundromat. After a somewhat soggy send off, he drove to the part of town where the laundromat used to be, but get this, it had turned into a day spa and it was locked up tighter than a bank vault. So he pulled out his GPS, put in his search criteria. It listed one location about three miles away. The next closest was about 15 miles away. Long story short, the boss wound up at the farther location, but the good news is he got his laundry finished. And that's when he came up with a chore for me. Find out what's new in franchising for laundromats. So our next franchise on offer changed my mind. The founders of WaveMax offered a real clean scene with their vision of a modern laundromat. Of course, you have the options of doing your own duds or having it handled by the attendants on duty. In some locations, the local WaveMax even offered pickup and delivery service, but the most welcome visuals, WaveMax keeps it well lighted and clean as a whistle. Also, the coin-op laundry aspect has turned into card ops. You load your WaveMax card with credit you tap at the machine. So, is it a modern wash day miracle? Maybe not a miracle, but a welcome oasis on a critical timetable. Let's have a look at the excerpts from the franchise presentation video from the folks ahead of the Wave at WaveMax. Are you looking for that fantastic absentee business model? Extremely low employee count. A business that makes money when you are not around. Wave Max is the franchise for you. We are looking for professionals that want to build a multi-unit franchise empire. Wave Max has developed a system to change the way coin laundry locations are perceived and operated. Traditional coin op laundromats, overbuilt locations, have too much equipment, too large of a space, creating a zombie mat destined for failure. What makes Wave Max different? Clean, well maintained, and well lit. Best equipment and amenities in the industry. High efficiency washers and dryers. Full time attendance. Wash, dry, and fold services. Free Wi Fi. We target working families and single professionals. A low employee count. We don't chase high rent locations. Same investment as a Menchie's frozen yogurt, but with a higher ROI. Four hours a week compared to 40 plus. No perishables. Be a part of Dennis Mulgannon's team. Dennis has made some of the biggest names in the franchise spectrum successful. Junk King, The Flying Locksmiths, Home Care Assistants, Nerds To Go, a proven franchise superstar. Unbelievable support and experience the whole way through. Are you next? Get in while there's still time. National rollout in progress. Comprehensive review of area demographics, including population density, renter mix, and income. Best size store based on demographics. Traffic and flow pattern assessment to ensure that our C plus real estate drives A plus returns. The Wave Max solution. Right location plus right size store plus right equipment mix equal maximum profits. www.wavemaxlaundry.com There are a number of factors that go into the expenses of owning your own WaveMax location. Most are part of the discussions between the franchisee and franchisor. We can give you a rough estimate of what a WaveMax wash and fold might cost. You should have a net worth of $400,000. You should have liquid capital of $200,000. Your total investment may run between $550,000 and $750,000. And your franchise fee is $49,950. And so the saga goes. There are laundromat franchises within reach and within driving distance, as the boss has learned. If you'd like to learn more about being your own boss as the owner of a WaveMax franchise, the Small Business Network can help. Drop us an email here, info at sbnfranchise.com. We can connect you to legal representatives and business investment advisors. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. So, 
that's the last word on laundromats as we wrap up today's edition. We hope you've seen something to consider for your next investment and hope too you'll join us again next time. Until then, good heart, good health, and good investments. I'm Brian DiNovellis. From all of us here, thanks for watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs.